Good morning and welcome to Slippy Limited's video. I've got a feeling today is going to be a pretty good day. Um, I've just driven for a couple of hours um, at a dead end track now and we're going to try and access this mark. Um, it's somewhere I've wanted to try for quite some time. Um, it's a bit of a trek and obviously it looks like a bit of a climb as well but uh, it is also a bit of a gamble because I've got no idea if the fishing's good. Looking on Navionics, the ground looks amazing. Looks like it accesses really deep water. Um, but the problem is, is obviously <laughs> the access to it looks pretty tricky. So um, I've brought a rope, brought some climbing kit, and we're just going to take a gamble and see if we can get on it. Hopefully get right at the end and uh, get some fish. But the main thing for today is just, just to go out and have a bit of an adventure, a bit of fun. Not to watch this video. Get him down. Dude, we can go on this, no bother. Yep. But then... I think the end bit is going to be the uh, just at the end of the fin there. Because that rock's wet. Yeah. But um, it's looking good. It's doable. There's a rope. Yep. Alright, nice new bolt in there as well. Right up and over, I think. <laughs> Graceful. No part of his wishes I never brought all this camera equipment. So far, so good. About a quarter of the way along, I think. Just come along here, down this hill here, along. And we've got, oh, we've got the rest of this to go. And it looks like the end's going to be the uh, the trickiest bit. Yes. The other side. Aye, uh, it's that side where the ledge that goes to the end is. I might want to try and get around the corner first and see if we can go because that's just a sheer base. I'll have a look. We can put the drone up. I see it down there. Aye, uh, that's, that's what the climbing route says. You can either reverse what you climb or you go along the ledge. Mm. The ledge starts or comes up to this where this pinnacle is here. So it's this one. Aye. Uh, Although, how'd you get past that? But, oh no, just come along the top. Let me best see what this side does first and see if we can cross over it somewhere over there. Gotta remember that this bit lower down's tidal there. 
Yeah. Aye. So to come back yeah. might be a different way. It's a leg on that side. <laughs> it's alright on this side as well. Watch your net. It's going to shift you down this gully thing here. Massive seal there, just watching what's going on. What are these boys doing? Whoa. Wow. What a place to be in. It's a lake. Uh, no, it's not, but at least the holes are good, but it just depends on how high the water comes. So much easier moving without a bag on. Woo. Have you been up here? No. Nope. I think it's just a sheer drop. But I think it is as well, but another check. Yeah, that ledge is meant. That's what we want to get on. Yeah, yeah this is where the uh, I, that impasse was. Possibly I would just fish off here. <laughs> That's quite true, isn't it? I mean, it's slightly out of the current. Well, pretty close to the end now. Come a long way. I mean, we haven't got my bags, we're just kind of scouting it. Um, so, doing fishing rods and all that type of thing. So, we've passed a couple of pinch points, darkness, and six hours anyway, so we need to be off before high tide. But, uh, hi. So far, it's taken two and a bit hours to get to where we are. Um, so, hopefully, we'll get some fishing done. I mean, if if it looks too difficult, we'll just call it and go to a mark that we already know. Um, but it's cracking fun. <laughs> I mean, I half think I should just put the rope on and uh, climb it all, but Lewis hasn't done any proper rope climbing, so he doesn't know how to belay very well, or at all. So uh, it's a bit of a risk doing that anyway, so we'll just carry on doing this. Well, we've got the rope in case the shit hits the fan, which it won't. And the rock's brilliant. <laughs> it's just run out a little. So getting down is going to be a trickier bit. Sorry? I don't know, I've got the overhang, but yeah, possibly. Oh, it could be there, mate.
It looks like it from here. I'm only about eight foot off the ledge. God, we are so close. It's just down here and then onto that ledge. Oh, this is exciting. I think we made it. Just need to be able to climb down here. All right, let's see if I can get back. I think we should get the bags. So we've made it back to the bags. We were just deciding whether oh well, there's dolphins. Aye. Right. Feeding at the point. Yeah. Uh, just deciding whether we should climb up there and over and then we can just walk along that ledge that we've seen all the way along the side. But we still don't know what that's like, so let's go back the way we found and then there's just one bit at the end that we haven't done yet and uh, hopefully we should be able to get down. <laughs> Wet a line. Can't wait to catch a fish there. And if you do decide to come right here, don't bring a drone, loads of power banks, cameras, and all that type of garbage, just travel light. <laughs> kind of had to go around it twice, three times, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Once it once you get it nailed and you know the roots and you it doesn't seem quite so bad and probably come in the summer get here as the tides drop in a long time you know yep. make a day of it i get here as the tides drop and you'll get four hours on it two hours either side and you just walk right on the base quite much. yeah up there down the other side. That's your tip. You need a shorter rod. Ooh. Maybe, yeah, come lower. Can you get your foot? I don't know. No, and I then got my foot onto that ledge out there. That's that's a good handhold there, mate. haven't travelled. made it <laughs> it's like we were just saying uh, i think this is probably the most arduous or difficult mark we've ever been to <laughs> and would we do it again who knows oh mate have you seen that rain i have not have to do this in the wet like <laughs> it'll be dry it's only five percent chance anyway we're here there's a shit ton of seals like Every few seconds there's one coming up, it's like a seal highway, but uh, I 
um, we'll manage. Um, there's loads of current. It, Lewis says it's really deep, which is great. I'm going to start checking around the 28 gram silver minnow just to search the area and we've got a couple of hours to fish probably and then, uh, <laughs> then we'll have to head back. <laughs> so uh, I had enough talking and more fishing, I think. Uh, two and a half hours. It's past 11 now, so uh, I <laughs> it's been a long morning so far. The, um, the route down, once we got off the actual ridge proper, just covered in bird shit, like loads of it. We were nearly barfing with a stench. Um, so we've had to come down onto this little ledge on the barnacle line, and there's not much room. Pretty uh, enclosed. And Lewis, of course, brought like a 15 foot rod, so there's not much room. Oh, that seal is right on my line. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, that's the edge. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got the edge. There's an empty than that. Mr. Splatty pops in there, don't we? Jeez, I'm bringing the radio in. Listen to the chat. Very good. Nearby, Paul. Over here, Alan. Oh, that looks like a better one. Yeah. Well, seems like Lewis has got a reasonable fish. He's found the pollock hole. Eh? Cod. Oh. <laughs> Get a little pose. Will it survive? Will it survive the seals? <laughs> That's a good question. Good bringing a radio out so you can listen to all the chatter. If, uh, we know it's um, Channel 6 here, all the local boats use, so uh, you get to hear about the fishing and the weather and what guys are doing in the garden and the being on the home brew. And also, it's a good safety tool as well. Oh, <laughs> you're slaying them today, mate. Staying deep. Oh, get on. Oh, what a nice chunk that is. No wonder it was staying deep. The net's not twisting. <laughs> nice codlin, like. No, not a codlin, sorry, it's it's definitely a cod. There's a PB codlin. Cod. I'll give you five pounds for it. I mean, look at the size of its heat. Yeah, it's quite good. Although it's really skinny. Yeah.
Whoa. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Oh that's a disaster. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? Oh. <laughs> Just don't snag. Don't snag. Come on, I don't want to wind it too quick either. Oh, don't get a fish. <laughs> It's not the type of place to do that sort of thing. I'm glad it didn't come off while I was casting. <laughs> Fix the ropes if we're going to do that, like. Oh. On the drop. Oh, fine. Oh, no. I don't know. I nailed it on the drop. No. Just a wee one. Little codlin. First fish for me. I've just been watching Lewis reel them in and uh, swapped over from the Zen to a little 20 gram fish uh, crazy eel. Just got that nice little codlin there. And it's away. <laughs> Hit that on the drop. Seems that when the tides stopped, uh, the fish have started biting. Or they're just kind of in a little pocket in front of us. So, um, yeah, happy days. Seems like uh, so far the effort's been worth it. Lewis has got a PB poly uh, cod, and uh, I've got a codling. So, uh, I'm gonna stop talking and cast some more. It'll be all right. It's these seals. Oh, one of them's just seen it. Come on, fish. I'll save you. Oh, it's going for the structure. It's still really deep. Whew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at that seal. I just lifted it up and see uh, as the seal try to get it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh, oh sharp teeth as well. Whew. That fish was so close to getting annihilated by a seal. Uh, red red uh, lips, Lewis has been eating on the bottom again. Um, yeah, the seal was chasing it, the saw is winding it in. It was chasing it and I could see the seal under the water and I got the fish just to the surface. And I uh, lifted it up slightly just as the seal went for it. So you're a lucky chap. See if we can get it back and uh, away from these seals. Second fish on the board. 
And the sea seals not efficient. No chance. I think you got hit. It was a bite. <laughs> I don't think I'll catch a fish with that. <laughs> uh, here comes the tide. Oh. Oh, I took it once and then it came back for it again. You can stay there, seal. I wonder if that seal knows what's going on. Look how close it is. <laughs> Sorry? This fish hit and then dropped and then hit again. Well, I paused on the drop and it's absolutely gobbled that down. Come here, open your mouth, I'm trying to help you. There we go. Out. Lovely conditioned pollock there. Took right really close in and these seals are just watching. Oh, get in. First chuck straight after. The tide's just starting to push now. Literally just turned. Past low tide a while ago, but it's been slack and uh, the pollock have turned back on. They stay deep, don't they? Oh, nice. It's good timing that with the wave. <laughs> oh, they're not kelpy, are they? No, oh, they're clean. Really nice fish. Hello, son. What? Oh, don't. Oh, oh that's a good one. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't a seal either. Come on. God, this is like fighting. Oh no! That's a seal. Oh. Well, water's deep, like, isn't it? <laughs> no point in using the net, I don't think. I don't think that, no. <laughs> you have to tighten up, haven't you? Oh, oh you bugger! <laughs> oh. oh, that was a min fish as well. Ah, uh, he's tooth marks on the uh... No way. Oh, these seals of uh, the cotton and on. Damn it. That was a good fish. Oh. <laughs> well, I've had to chop my leader down a wee bit because uh, there's uh, teeth marks from a seal on it. <laughs> 
So I've put a new lure clip on and I've tied that on. I think it might be a Savage Gear or a Storm. I'm not sure. It's about 35 grams though and it's obviously bright pink. So all the fish I've had pretty much have been on the drop. So I think this might be a wee bit too heavy, but I'll give it a few casts, cover some more distance. Although if I do get a fish further out, then there's more chance of one of these sea dogs coming and uh, chomping on the food, on the fish. But I uh, will give it a go anyway and see what happens. Oh, there's a seal with me fish. I hope that lure passes. <laughs> that was a good fish. <laughs> that was a good fish. Oh. Look at it. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Oh, I can't even take it down in one go. That was close in as well, mate. Oh, there's nothing worse than watching a seal eating your best fish of the day. <laughs> so far, anyway. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, I lost it. Oh, that was a good big. What's a short leader you got on there, mate? Got the exact same thing. <laughs> Oh, just had a real good hit there. Lewis and I both hooked up at the same time. Mine was really close in. Felt, felt good again. Oh, oh I was so close as well. <laughs> oh, Lido was just on the, under. It's no fish. My fault that. I shouldn't have jigged it so close to the shoal but uh, I was hoping to maybe catch something that was <laughs> close to the shoal but I did caught the rock <clears throat> so I've retied uh, a leader and I put a big lure clip on because I'm out of smaller ones but um, I've put a craw on I noticed that those pollock were uh, a little red mouse so they've been feeding near the bottom or something so give this a try and uh, would quite like a codlin, but um, they like this as well, so uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Got 40 gram um, cheb on there, which will uh, hopefully keep it nice and planted to the deck in this current. Snagged. Probably be snagged. It's not there. <laughs> oh. Should have known. Should have known. I've got a craw on. Why would it take it mid water? Oh. oh. Yeah. New leader tied. Another clip. Um, we've literally got maybe 20 minutes left on this mark before we have to go. It's a real shame because uh, fishing's pretty good here. Um, we haven't actually checked when we can get off as well, so it's probably good that we do leave, or we'll have to. Um, so I'm going to fish as hard as I can for 20 minutes with a 40 grams in. Um, Lewis has just had a really good fish, but it came off, so they're still around. It seems to slow down a little bit since the tide started pushing. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on fishing and hopefully get some more, a few more fish on the shore before we have to uh, do one. These dolphins have come right into the shore to see with. If I wasn't a dedicated angler, I would have uh, got the drone out to film it, but... I want to catch another fish. Unfortunately, I think my time's up on this mark. I'm just making this my last cast and then, um, I don't know, what's the time? 
Like, I go to a different mark, and like fish off a different section of here. I don't know, actually, world's war oyster at the minute. <laughs> so lads, why did you get trapped on the rock? Well, we were busy filming dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> it is a valid reason <laughs> oh. oh, and now we have to go back through the uh, third stench. Absolutely reeks. Oh, my legs aren't working very well. Very graceful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, canal. Yeah. Well, that is it, pretty much. We've just come back across there, up here. We've got the rest of this to go now, but um, I'm going to call it a day with the camera. Put in my bag, get rid of my power bank that's in the pocket, and uh, be a bit more comfortable. Well, I can categorically say that that is the most effort I've ever put in to go into a fishing mark. I've probably done similar sorts of distances walking and you know going to different marks but not one single mark uh, and what a day. I mean thoroughly enjoying it. It's meant great adventure scouting around you know a bit of problem solving finding where to go how to get to places backwards and forwards backwards and forwards trying to you know kind of find the safest way to go um and then having a good little three hour session on the rocks fishing i mean it, it would be better if it was uh i think if we went later on in the tide or as the tide was dropping well, rather than at low tide and we would have more time on and actually the ebb seemed like it was fishing better anyway but we still had some good fish and we had a few pollock a little codlin lewis had a nice cod um and a couple of good pollock as well and loads of little fish and uh, i had a seal obviously uh, which had taken my best fish uh, which i was a little gutted at but i mean uh, just to lose one given the number of seals around is uh, <laughs> is pretty um is pretty good i would say so i hope you enjoyed the video as much as uh, i did making it and filming i'm glad you could come along with us and uh, give us a thumbs up and hit that like button as well. that's the same thing thumbs up and like button leave a comment please that would be awesome and i'll get back to you 
and uh, yeah, until the next one, tight lines. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give us a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dehydrated and hungry. Oh, my lens is all fogged up as well. <laughs> <laughs>